Right, New York a City is considered one of the fashion meccas of the world. Their recent Fashion Week brought in not only fashionistas, but also some would argue some incredible artistry. Joining us today with fresh from her trip, by the way, to the Big Apple is fashion model and style expert Joanna House with some highlights for us. So mm -hmm. what was it like? Mm -hmm. Because I see all the pictures and everything when I'm ooh, ooh. looking at the internet, but what's it like yeah. to be there? Well, it's amazing and I think it's great because I don't think there's anyone else in Jacksonville who actually has had a chance to go cover it, bring it back, do a show, do a piece. So I think it's great to have First Coast living there and to be able to bring the beauty buzz. So actually, instead of talking about it, let's show everyone kind of what I got up to there. All right, so the beauty buzz is here at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. We're going to be covering the latest of the trends, talking to the designers, and finding out what's bringing all of these fashionistas here today. We found two fashionistas right here at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. What brought you guys out today? Yeah, we actually are also a TV host for a Chinese channel. Oh. Yeah, so we are also doing the coverage for the whole Fashion Week. Talk to me about what brought you to Fashion Week and who are you planning to see today? Well, I'm planning to see Luis Antonio, which is a Puerto Rican designer. So why are you here today? To see, I want to see Hervé. I was really looking forward to that, and Luis Antonio. People in Asia, they are like more open-minded right now. They don't mind like try different kind of outfits, sometimes like uh, more elegant, sometimes more street. Yeah, I think they're open to everything. I think in New York, it's definitely more uh, multicultural and then it's more diverse. I really like the energy here. It's more, it's more lively than, than the ones in China. So hopefully we can bring this life energy back to China. Describe the Rolando Santana girl. I'm standing in front of her. Oh. <laughs> I think that it's, it's, you know, it's a really strong woman, but at the end of the day, she's a very feminine woman and is always looking for a beautiful piece of clothing to wear. The runway color was custom made for Rolando Santano, and what we did is he sent us the Pantone numbers for his fabric, and then I matched the pigment in the polish to his pantone numbers. So it's a perfect match to the fabric that you're going to see for his outfit. Rolando really likes his girls to be really fresh, really young, still polished. So we're doing a little bit of an extended brow. We're doing mascara on the top, lots of mascara and curling the lashes. Doing this beautiful sort of mauve tone mixed with a little bit of purple, wrapped around the eye in a really simple, organic shape, organic way. Uh, basically, we're doing a very tight, uh, structured um, ponytail. We're doing a side part. So one trick that I, I like to do is pull a little bit, a bit of the hair from underneath and wrap it around the elastic. And now you're ready for the show. So who inspires you when it comes to hair? Um, the people that inspire me right now are young hairdressers. I think that, uh, you know, they're not afraid, they're not jaded, they're, um, they have a very open mind, so it's really very inspirational to see what they're doing. And then there's the shoe. Fashion Week is powerful and creative. Diverse, fabulosity, inspiring, and fascinating. Oh. Okay, we're just talking about, it's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, Joanna, I love your outfit. And that was from one of the guys that you mm -hmm. interviewed. And yeah, that Rolando. World. And I was like, how much do you think that is? And she said, you don't ask that question. <laughs> so therefore, that goes, it's not consignment. That's yeah, basically no, what. but he's actually probably one of the, just what's really great about him, there was a big Latin American influence at Fashion Week, and Rolando is just blowing up in Mexico Vogue and Elle, and I think it was so great to capture him and his essence of what he thinks, you know, women should look like, because he really has a great grasp on He's He's It was gorgeous. Your outfit was, was yes. breathtakingly gorgeous. Thank and then you. You did 20 shows in three days. But you went actually to the show. Every single show. Um, I was up from 7 in the morning till 8 at night and I had the best time. Next year hopefully I'll go to a thousand shows because that's all <laughs> I wanted to do. I didn't want to stop. Impressive. Um, I don't think I even ate but like because I was just on such an adrenaline but it was so fun. And we got to go but you wanted to say a special thanks yes, to somebody. Yes so I want to thank Chad Cosper who um, 
was basically the videographer, a friend of mine, who helped me piece this together, and we had such a blast together to bring it back to, um, here to, to oh, First Great Coast job. And Thank it, you. And that, was, and that, that was just so neat. I've never been to one, but yeah. you gave us kind of a perspective from behind the scenes, so thank you, Ioana. Yeah, sure. And if you have any beauty style or fashion questions for Ioana, you want to sponsor a Beauty Buzz segment, you can email her at living at firstcoastnews.com. You can also follow Ioana on Instagram at yomania.